Jock Elevation is on the air. We're coming to you from Orlando at the Edition Arena on the campus of UCF. I am Tony Schiavone, Mark Henry, Paul White. We got the big and the bad with us here. And let's go to the ring for our first match. Here's Justin Roberts. Team bounce set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the team of X Dina K and Dia Monte. There's Dia Monte coming in. Such attitude. Talk about dynamite in a smaller package. That's Dia Monte. Pure fire. Well, X Tina K looks like she's got some attitude as well, Mark Henry. You talk about swag. That, that walk to the ring, that is 100% swag. Swag. Yeah, if anybody, I agree. If anybody knows anything about swag, it would be the duo of Mark Henry and Paul White. I Mark thought Henry. he was going to say you. <laughs> Stop. Go back to Justin Roberts. And for a moment, the team of legit Layla Hirsch and Aniki Rio Mizu. Not personally, Mark, I love these two. I love Layla Hurst, I love Rio. Love the energy, love the colors. And one of the things I love the most about him is too is Layla Hurst is a shooter. She's got shooter boots on. She's, She's a, a shooter. shooter. She'll take you down, tie in the knot, punch you in the face with your own fist, and ask you, why are you punching yourself? I've seen that before. Yeah, I have too, actually, yeah. Wow, she's rubbing off on Layla. Yeah, she's bringing Layla's person out. You know, Layla's all serious in business, and Rio's shown her a little of that showmanship, that ability to have a little fun and go out there and excite the Got the glasses on. Oh, 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 oh wow. And wow. then Buzz killed Diamante, like I just steal all the swag. <laughs> you called her a Buzz kill. Yeah, just kill all the fun up in the room. Oh, man, that's great. Yeah, DMI is like, if you ain't talking about me, you don't need to be talking. <laughs> Love Rio Mizunami's outfit. Always reminds me a little bit of the great Randy Savage with those tassels Absolutely. on the end of it. Colors, too. Very slim Jimish. <laughs> wow. Diamante is a firecracker, man. Oh, she is. She grabs that side headlock, tries to control the tempo. And a good athlete. Great athlete, trained by Gangrel right here in Florida is one of her teachers. So, you know, she's trained by Gangrel. She's got a mean streak. Oh, my God, yes. Ooh, stiff. Punch right at the end. That's the thing. You do not want to get in a trade off with Rio Oh, Ishinami. my goodness. That chop right to the throat. <laughs> that make you tag out. She'll be hoarse tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, I mean, if she just saw a partner get chopped in the throat, maybe that's not a bad, that's a smart move. Maxina K wants a little bit of Layla Hirsch. She came through the robes like, yeah, she you shouldn't have asked I'm me. telling you, Layla Hirsch can go. She won a scholarship. She was a state competitor in New Jersey, and she was the only woman wrestling other men, and she was beating them. Wow. She's tough. I mean, handsome point, that's a pretty good shoulder tackle. Sometimes you might want, want to call somebody out. You might get more than you ask for. That's that amateur background. That's what Layla does. Look at that roll up. And Bryce Fensberg gets that was two. almost quick. Yeah, it goes right for the arm, too. And very seamless, too. Yeah. Like, she goes in and out of stuff with no, no hesitation. at all. No yeah, hesitation. No hesitation. No, no. She flows good. That's the amateur background. She goes from wrist to ankle to whatever other joint she wants to just tear off. Hey, nice see the K man. looking pretty good here. Yeah, Kayla's got some aggression, that's for yeah. sure. But we knew that tagging with Diamante. And she's got, uh, by the way, uh, Ray's got a, oh. or K, I should say, has got an extensive gymnastics background as well. Really? Oh, she showed a little bit of that with yeah. that standing back stand hand flip there, whatever you call it. That thing that I can't do or ever could do. Here, well, I was going to take a cover, but no, Diamante with left handed blows. Into the head that time. We've seen Diamante compete a lot on elevation. And Diam whoop. Diamante want. loves to impose her will. She really does. 
And her and Layla Hirsch have battled it out before. Yeah, they know each other. Those short arm clothes lines. Keep, keep control of your opponent's wrist. Control of the tempo. Hirsch knocked down by Diamante in a back elbow that time. And boy, does she need a tag. You're talking about using the ropes to your advantage. She pushed her into those ropes so hard she came off a little bit out of control and she hit her with her elbow. Tried to splash that time and uh, telegraphed it a little bit. Yeah, he's got up. There you see Mizunami, by the way, is the Beyond the Sea champion of seedling promotion. She came out with that belt you saw in her entrance. Oh, oh wow. what, look at German. What a German suplex. That's the amateur. That's a get off me, girl. Here comes Rio. We know Rio's just a powerhouse. Yeah, that was an international connection. She went from the German suplex to the Japanese hammer. <laughs> Mizunami's got the crowd behind her now here. <laughs> I think that no. this crowd would cheer for anybody. Well, that was... They're cheering for Rio right now. You remember Rio Mizunami earlier this year won the AEW Women's Eliminator Tournament. That's true. I mean, That's she's true. a heck of a competitor. I think watching watching Diamante get beat up is, is something that everybody wants to see. Uh, I, well, roll you, it, roll it. You might want to watch out. Diamante ah. catch you in the hallway, she's going to take a knee out. <laughs> Boy, does she have some, I, I, she has flair, doesn't she? Flair, enthusiasm. Yeah, man. Hootspah. Hootspah. And here she goes. Big leg drop from nice Islamic. Drop. Yeah, you're gonna have to look a, hook a leg. You want to be a Diamante. She's too experienced a competitor for that kind of lack of days yeah, of recovery. That's that resilience. She's like a little bit too arrogant just to get beat. Layla Hirsch with a lariat up and sends her in to Tsunami. Whoa! A leg trip driver. Yeah. And now the double team. They've been forming uh, quite a very effective team here. Look at this. Oh this. my God! Well, well, that's the end of that knee. One. Two, not two count. Big kick out by Diamante. Look at the resilience. She was in a lot of trouble there. I told you she's too stubborn to lose. Guys, Layla Hurst said, "Take that with you." We are in the midst of the tournament to crown the first ever TBS Women's Champion. And of course, it's singles. We got tag team, but we've got some ladies that certainly could be a part of that. Here's a tag made to meet. These are now being a drop kick. Boy, that tree of woe, that kick right to the stomach. There's a cover. Do you ever know, wonder why they call it the tree of woe? Uh, I'm sure because in the tree of woe, you're hung upside down by it. That's probably why. Well, no, okay. I probably it, guessing. Isn't that what uh, longtime wrestler Kevin Sullivan? Yes! The devil. The Good. devil. There yep. you go. Cover. Break up by Rio Mizunami. I guess you could say my first wrestling manager. Uh, sidekick telling yep. me what to do is Kevin Sullivan. Yeah, and Kevin, by the way, we brought up your name and oh, big do, spear. We do take PayPal. Yes, we do take and PayPal. Here we go, a chill. Oh, running knee strike that time. Man, you can count one thousand. Two, three. Here we go. The team of Nikki Rio Mizunami, out of the chip, Layla Hirsch. I love to see Layla Hirsch getting a little spunk, a little attitude. She's really coming to her own. Especially here in elevation. She's gonna need yeah. to in this women's tournament. I hope she does well moving forward. All Elite Wrestling continues to reshape. I got the time and I ain't going anywhere. Reimagine and reignite the fire. For the love of God, it's Brian Danielson. One fan at a time. On Saturday, November 13th, the men and women of AEW will continue to break boundaries one extraordinary match at a time. The elite era of professional wrestling has arrived. Tag team action coming up next, FTR along with manager Tully Blanchard. Contest set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Being accompanied by Tully Blanchard.
from Asheville, North Carolina. At a combined weight of 443 pounds, they are the AAA Tag Team Champions, Dax Harwood, Cash Wheeler, FTR. You talk about a mechanically sound tag team. You gotta go with FTR. These guys don't make mistakes in the ring mechanically. Unbelievable, they got Tully Blanchard ringside giving him advice. No wonder these guys are AAA champions. Not only do they have good athleticism, but they work together and they're willing to sacrifice. A lot of teams, they want to they sacrifice want each other. Yeah, but these yeah. guys will, they will give it, they will give their own self up so their partner can win. Right. That takes dedication. And well, somebody's going to be in a lot of trouble because I'm looking right now at Mike Reed and Toa Leona, the Samoan Lion. Man, he looks like a hoss. Yeah, man, he And their opponents, the team of Mike Reed looks, huh? and Toa Leona. Yeah, I believe it. Toa Leona wanted my lunch money. I believe I'd give it to him. Yeah, I don't blame him. I don't know if there's good sense in Mike Reed if, if he just stands on the apron. And <laughs> yeah, I would like And coach. let him do all the work. All the work. And I would bring uh, him to the ring hungry, too, well, so he's in a bad mood. I tell you who's hungry. Not a good start. What's that, Tony? I tell you who's hungry, and that will be the Lucha Brothers to get back at these two guys. Oh, absolutely. The assault of the Lucha Brothers coming in. It was a charade set up by Andrade Alilo. That's respect right there, yeah. Tony. Oh, I get because that. Because these guys are not the nicest guys in the world. Oh, no. And the crowd respects their body of work so much that they cheer. Dressing up like a bunch of frogs. <laughs> Leg takedown, float over. Look at that. Look at that. I just told you that they were rotten. <laughs> He's trying to say it's nothing new. Nothing keep, new. Just keep looking. Absolutely. Keep on living is what my granny used to say. Well, let's, the fact on, is the Lucha Brothers are still the AEW World Tag Team Champions. And obviously, when you're the World Tag Team Champions, you got plenty of com contenders, including FTR. And look here. Look at good job by Mike Reed. Trying to oh, my God. He just slapped his soul out. Wow. And here's the thing, though. When you look at how good FTR is, and also how good FTR is supposed to be, it makes you wonder why they have to cheat against the Lucha Brothers. That's a good question. Inquiring minds want to know why. Because, oh, I guess you'll do anything at all to be a champ. That's it. And obviously there was a payoff between Andrade El Idolo and, as we saw, MJF of the Pinnacle. So there you go. Hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying hard enough. Into the midsection. Here's a pickup. Oh, face first. Gourd buster, if you will. Wow. Oh, Ar Arn Anderson style right there. Well, let's think Man. about FTR. These guys know their history. They've studied excellent tag team psychology, so they apply it every time they're in the ring. And they will do dirty tricks to to win. You're right, they will. But well, look at who they've got at ringside with. Tully Blanchard, one of the lowest, dirtiest players in the game. Oh, yeah, let's, let's keep it above board. All right. I, I did. He's low. Okay. And he's dirty. Wow. That's, that's, that's pretty brave. Yeah. That look, guy looks like he could tear an arm off and eat it. Toa is massive. 6'4", 300 pounds, an elite power lifter. Yeah, he's benching over 635. Yeah, how about that, Mark? You know, what's more important is that 850-pound squat. Oh. Look at those thighs. <laughs> yeah, he's in a little bit of trouble right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm trying to take it down with an old-fashioned sleeper here. Yeah, until I see him in trouble. Oh, oh my goodness, that was oh much more. I like what I see here. Whoa, Big look at that, that guy. Wow. Yeah, you know I'm a size this. Fans popped on that. And oh. here comes Dax the Axe. And guess what? There goes Dax the Axe. Impressive up oh, look at this. Tilly Blanchard of the legs. Oh, oh. no. Took right his eye off the ball here. that time. That's no just, a, that's just a, an inexperienced mistake right, right there. Exactly. Yeah, keep your eye on the ball. He got hit in the ear. Your equilibrium is off. But here's the smart thing that FTR does. They get that advantage. They don't let off the gas. They staying on and Look at them. They are like a bunch of wild dogs. dogs. Yep. There you go. And they've got so dirty, though. 
They got the Samoan Lion down. He's a big, impressive athlete. And and they they want to keep this guy on the ground. They don't want to let him get up to his feet again. Oh, no. Yeah, great double team that time from the... They know what they're doing. I mean, I'm not going to deny that, Tony. No, I'm, I'm not arguing that at that all. That kick out shot him right up top. <laughs> He's standing on his feet after that impressive kick out. You might want to hook a leg. <laughs> Why? Look at his leg. It's like a tree. Trying to double team vertical suplex or brain buster here. Let's see. They can't get the 300 pound guy up. They tried. Oh. Yeah, they bailed out of that one. That was definitely an abort. That was going to turn the wrong way. Broke right through. Takes them both down. Whoa. With a crossbody. I am super impressed, guys. Toa is amazing. Super athletic, super strong. He is laying on the mat, and he's still three feet tall. Play college football at San Diego State. He reaches out next tag, and here comes Michael. The big rig gone. The big rig. The winners of this match, FTR. Wow, so FTR wins their 25th in AEW against only three defeats. And the number one ranked tag team in AEW. Here it is. Big rig, baby. Wow. Great teamwork. That's just too many assets in the pocket for FTR. They were in trouble. They changed the entire momentum of that match in one move. Did Mike Reed get any offense in? Didn't see it. <laughs> wow, elite general manager, huh? The greatest wrestler of all time, getting his hands on his own professional wrestling game where I create the cards. This is my universe. We have a challenger online. What would a layman know about professional wrestling, huh? Is there uh, clearly some bugs in the system or something? I'm not, I don't lose. I've got every belt in the universe. How am I losing in this game? Think you have what it takes? Prove it with AEW Elite General Manager. Draft your favorite AEW wrestlers and book your own shows from week to week. Download AEW Elite General Manager, available now on iOS and Android. All right, still to come tonight on this program, we are going to see Emi Sakura in singles competition. QT Marshall will be taking on 10 of the Dark Order. And the man to our right, Mark Henry, big Paul White, is going to be in action as well. I'm oh. ready to go. I'm a working man. Working both ends of the field. In the ring, out of the ring. Can't touch me. I'm too hot. I can't touch Ooh. me. Which I'm means too hot. sweating over here. Which, which means he gets two paydays. Well, they didn't, I don't think I get two. I, I get opportunities. Okay. I don't get two paydays. Oh. With, with that in mind, let's go back to the ring. Our next match here on Elevation. Sacramento round. This next match is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Being accompanied by Lulu Pencil from Ichigaya, Japan, Emi Sakura. All right, as Emi Sakura makes her way to the ring here with Lulu Pencil, a reminder that on Friday, November 12th, AEW Rampage will be coming to the Target Center in Minneapolis. Saturday, November 13th, AEW's full gear pay-per-view the very next day. Tickets for both events are on sale now at AEWTIX.com. We have got two event combo offers available as well. We look forward to seeing her. Wow, oh, poor Lulu. Lulu Pencil. Poor Lulu Pencil's, poor so Lulu Pencil's a sweetheart, but you know. We're from American Samoa, Rekka to Haka. Now, Rekka Tog is looking for her first win in AEW. She's picked an incredible opponent, Anime Sakura. Yeah. I mean, she's Japanese royalty. That's why she treats Lulu Pencil like that. Wow. Yeah, we're not here to shake hands, kid. We're here to fight. Hopefully, Rega don't do it again. Mm. Oh, that's great. All right. Good punch that time. Oh, these, these, these ladies are slugging it out here. Again, the, the TBS Women's Tournament. The crown, a first ever TBS champion is underway. And it's got the women's locker room buzzing, too. Yeah. They're all talking about that title. Absolutely. Good to have another title in the women's division here in AEW, and good to name it after TBS. It's where Dynamite will be moving in January. 
Wow. Did you see that? She just tried to whip her by her hair, and her neck did not even move. <laughs> it's tough. But, but there's a time you got to pay attention to what's going on quit playing with the crowd, too. Ooh. Yeah, no, I agree with that. There's a lot Gosh. of that going on. They're trying always... to establish themselves, Tony. No, I get it. No, but... I do, too. I... Yeah. But when you get older, you learn to take care of business first. That'll You take care of business, that'll do all the establishing you need. If that makes any sense. Wow, down goes Tahaka. And here comes Emmy once again. Mm. Wow, look at this. They'll pick her up maybe for a bow and arrow here. No, she's, she's on, yep. the, on the larger side. I, I, I think Rekka's a little bit too strong for this. This yeah. might not be the way to go. Too strong, too tall. And again, Emmy might show us, uh, that's okay, I could do something else. Pull in the air and a Come warning on, here. Ref. Oh, what? Come on, he's a zebra. What are they good for? You guys, you, both of you guys have problems with referees. We've Man, lost a lot of important matches yes, in our careers because of referees. Referees have cost me a lot, Tom. Cost me a lot, too. They should and I want them to do their job. Well, you got Rick Knox, one of the best ones in AEW here with this match. So Still yeah, got yeah, yeah. the stripes on. Still uh, a zebra. Okay. And look at Emmy Sago with a double underhook here. Mm. Oh, and Tahaka. Oh! Back body drop that time. That that power, that's right up your alley, Mark oh. Henry. Wow. And Flexibility. Wow, that nice high side kick. Yeah, big rush kick. One, two. A little pencil on the side, and she looks a little weary. Yeah, buddy. I guess if Emmy doesn't bring home the win, then Lulu's going to get blamed for a lot, if one would think, based on what we've seen thus far in this match. Wow! wow. Thunderous. Couldn't help but sell that. No. A double hit. Oh, and Sakura wants another. Oh, 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 that. 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 oh, another hit, but that stunned her that time, and she's going to pick her up. No, Emmy fought her way off of that. Oh, I've seen her do this before. Oh, man. Spinning neck breaker that time as Lulu Pencil looks on. It just goes to all the experience that Emmy Sakura has. She's, tra she's trained so many women champions, so many top-level women competitors. Yeah. She's got so many tricks in the bag, and this is hard for someone of Rekka to, to compete with. She's doing a great job, but every time Rekka gets ahead, Emmy comes out with a different trick. Yeah, well, Sakura, yes. not a part of that women's tournament we talked about. She's very upset about that, and I'm sure she's taking this out on Rekka right here. Yeah, she's, she's had trying to make a statement. Yeah. 2,500 matches, and Rekka's right at 25 matches. The experience, the lack the winner of, of this match, Emmy Sakura. Emmy Sakura with Lulu Pencil. So they get out to watch and see how long it takes for her to get to the top. Oh, this is still a good fight by Rekka Tahaka, though. I really like what Rekka's bringing to the table. She's mainly only had 25 matches, but I still think she keeps going solid. Her career, her win record's gonna get better, and she's gonna get better. She's got the tools and the talent to make it work. Yeah, she's got the look, too. One-on-one, -on -one, QT Marshall of the Factory will take on 10 of the Dark Order. That's next. This is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by the factory from Freehold, New Jersey, weighing 234 pounds, QT Marshall. Hey, I noticed his pompous ass not looking over here to the broadcast position. I'm so glad. Well, you act like that, we're missing something. No, he doesn't no, want to. He got a little arrogant earlier in the year. And he wound up on the wrong side of a giant, so he's learning. Hey, take nothing away from what he has become, though, in pro wrestling. Oh, he's an influencer. Jordan he's a mover and a shaker. Speaking of movers and shakers, 
His opponent being accompanied by Negative One and Dark Order from the team. Weighing 240 pounds, Dark Order number 10. Dark Order number 10, who, by the way, coming up on Wednesday night when Dynamite returns to a Wednesday night out of Boston, number 10 will be facing John Moxley in a first round World Eliminator match, World Title Eliminator match. And not only will he be facing Moxley, he'll be facing Moxley because Moxley injured the arm of this mess of big man back in May of 2020, forcing surgery, forcing him to miss four months of action. So, wow, they, they're having to hold little Brody back. And you know, the winner of that match between Moxley and 10 faces Orange Cassidy in the semifinal round. That's right. A lot of big things happening. What a yeah, big you know, guy. you know QT's gonna bail when the pressure gets high. Yeah. You know? He's like that little turkey button that pops out when the turkey's done. <laughs> well, I never heard uh, that. I've never heard that before. Never heard that either. That's a good one. <laughs> He's a turkey button. That's, That's all he does. Do. When it gets too hot, he pops out. Oh man, 10 is on a I love ten, 10 game winning streak. Yes, he is. Ten's what? impressive athlete. He's massive. Such an incredible athlete. Best pecs in the business. Best pecs in the business, yeah. I love Ten's get up with a mask. It throws back to that old school, like you know, the assassin and yeah. all the different ones. I dig that. Mr. Wrestling number one and two. Two, yes. Also, by the way, number ten is looking for his 30th win here. In oh, AEW. how about that? Oh, 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 he put that on the button. <laughs> He put that with some stank oh. on it. Put some stank on it. Put some stank on it. Yeah, how about this? Look at uh, those turkey so. buttons to stank. And watch out. It never gets tired to see QT Marshall getting thrown around and beat up. It never does. Yeah, if anybody can do it, it's this massive athlete. Dark order number 10. Pick up. Look at. Oh, God. What a high backdrop that was. And he's not intimidated at all with freaking Frank on the on the floor. I mean, you can tell why Mr. Brody Lee recruited personally ten for the Dark Order. I mean, Brody Lee saw talent. Yeah, Aaron and Solo. integrity. Oh, Aaron Solo did exactly what he was supposed to do: get the attention away from the man in the ring. And that time, uh, ten obliged and paid for it. Well, if uh, QT's a turkey button, then Solo's a turkey baster. Mm. Wow. Maybe I'm just hungry. Yeah, sounds like it. You're making me hungry. <laughs> oh boy. Here's a pickup by QT. Look at that. Great suplex textbook by QT Marshall and driving the knee down to the face. And a cover one, two, two count. That Harley Nurse knee. We've seen so many great stars across the year. Wow, look at that eye. Yeah, they got popped in the left eye. It's starting to swell up sure on him. Did. Wow. wow, that's a mouse. Cut me, Mick. Cut me, Mick. UT Marshall. I hope they cut him just above the shoulders and just below the chin. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Chop. And QT Marshall holds his own. Oh! <laughs> and a back elbow. Well, oh, that is a, a, a Paul. Not to call the match on that uh, one, ref. Oh, you can't no. see. No. Paul White checking in. And of course, uh, by the way, our referees are wired into our medical personnel here. So they can communicate with them. Here's one, two, and of course Doc Sampson is at ringside as well. On a serious note here, running. that kind of swelling, QT better be careful he didn't fracture an orbital bone. No, that's a good call. You're right. I mean, I don't want to see a competitor lose an eye, but if he keeps screwing around, he's putting himself in jeopardy right now. I don't think this is his first time. He's been wrestling 17 years. Yeah, but, like start, but right now he's got adrenaline flow and he's not realizing what's going on. I mean, if he's got a fractured orbital bone, it's probably not a good thing for him to be doing right now. Now they're going at it back and forth. Big chops. Big. Got to be honest with you. Shows you how tough QT is. Oh, I mean, yeah, we know man. he's a snake in the grass, but he's tough. He's tough. On the top of the pickup. There's that fighting spirit. I got to give uh, ten that twenty bucks on him for popping QT in the eye, though. Oh, there you go. Man, that dude is special. Man, he overcame Crohn's disease. I know that disease well. I have it in my family. Right. And he still has rose to the top right. with all the adversity that he's had as a kid. Yeah, he is a fighter, is 10. And here's a running leg at the time. 
And again, oh, this is the kind of physicality Tan's going to need against Moxley. You're not kidding. He's going to need that physicality because it's going to be a physical match. The big pump kick that time. QT now Boy. goes to another corner. Ten's going to do it again. Here he goes. Oh, back elbow. I was going to say, QT looked like he was on Bourbon Street at Mardi Gras. Stopped him short. Oh, man. Ten's feeling it. You see the crowd. Everybody's throwing up the dark order sign. And the turkey button pops out. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Stay away from there, dude. Nick Camarado. That's, I yeah. mean, that, that guy's just scary. Look at the powerhouse. Good thing the referee's right there. He's right between Camarado and Aaron Solo. Come on, do your job, Paul Turner. Okay, what's going on here? We've got... Oh! oh this just now it's a party! Members, I like this kind of party. Members of the Dark Order taking care of Solo and Camarado. Meanwhile, back into the ring, there's a roll-up by QT. One, two, and oh, he didn't beat him. He didn't beat him. That would have been a crime. And I'm QT. I'm somebody to. Oh, he's going for the diamond cutter. Oh, man. That move that was bestowed upon him by Diamond Dallas Page. He's going for no backslide. One, two, go. Oh, no, not yet. Still going on. And now the full Nelson. Oh, it's locked in deep, too. He's not. Oh, he's uh, he's tapping. Yeah, that he's turkey tapping. button tapped out. Oh, what a match. Very Number good. Four. Number 10. 10. Got me up here cheering like I'm a fan in the crowd. There you go. Now we'll see if 10 can make Moxley tap on Sunday. Got to get him. Try to get him. And there you see it. Negative one. Brody, little Brody. Throw it up, guys. Those two have developed such a closeness and a friendship. It's great to see him here, and here it is again. I think that's where I think that's what caught the eye right there. That blow we saw, and then the this one. By the end, he it locks in coming. that full Nelson. It's all over. Yeah, and it was that eye is completely closed shut. All right, ten goes on in the tournament on Wednesday. Like you and Paul White here on Elevation. 
is wonderful for the St. Paul get in the ring to face three men. Not one, not two, but three. All right, Justin. His opponents, the team of Arjun Singh, Cole Carter, and Carly Bravo. All right, Arjun Singh, Cole Carter on the right, Carly Bravo in the middle. And here we go. Oh, they jump right on him. Well, that's the, that's what you got to do, right? I mean, obviously a guy this size. Why, how about that? Wow. Kick by Carter. How high he had to get up for that, but he connected on the guy. 7-4. Didn't phase him much, but at least he got up. Boom! A big headbutt. Yeah, I think that he could have done without that one. Yeah. And now sending Singh down, and here comes Carly Bravo. And there he goes. Man, he was trained by Harley Race. How about that? Cole Carter. Oh, my goodness. My Lord, there's no training that you can take that's going to help you with that. No, not at all. <laughs> Fence getting real quiet. So they can oh, hear bless the his heart. Okay, here. He's got more ink than a phone book, but I'll tell you what, he might take some off. Oh. My Lord. Arjun, by the way, moved from India to the U.S. in 07. As you mentioned, trained by Harley Race. The late, great Harley Race. Here is Singh. Oh, those are definitely. Yeah, he's singing the blues right yeah, now. Harley Bravo walked right into that. There they go, doing their best to get him down. All right. Well, they still haven't gotten the big man off his feet here, Mark. No, not yet. <laughs> They're trying. Well, that didn't work. He's just too strong, man. Just Charlie Bravo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell did he just do? He had to break at least two ribs. <laughs> it was a flying shoulder block. Thank you for your service. And, Charlie and, Bravo, I, you might yeah. want to go get those ribs checked out. OK, and here. And Cole Carter flipped in. Oh, my. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, boy. Big hand bone right. One, two, three. Oh, we know this match. Oh, boy. That's the second time I've seen him beat three guys. Maybe they should put four or five against him. I'm all for it. You, you for it? Yeah. yeah, why not? Let's see it. Right. Come on. Your winner, Paul White, and for Paul White and Mark Henry and Tony Schiavone, start tomorrow night, Wednesday, live on TNT. It's Dynamite.